What's up guys? Angela, how you doing? Thanks for checking in with me. So I'm definitely real chill for this video and it's fine because this is actually how I be looking most of the time and I want to keep it real with y'all. So I'm also going to Pilates so I ain't feel like putting on no makeup and I really wanted to do this video because you know now that I started back doing my vids I'm like I gotta stay on it like gotta get this content out for the people and I had this whole list in my mind of things I wanted to do and this video was one of them. So the name of this video and I'm gonna do a lot of them like that is what's in my kit. So I have a ton of stuff. I'm a hairstylist. I work in a lot of different ways. And so I accumulate a lot of product. People send me things. I buy things on my own. I do my research. I'm a product junkie. I'm a tool head. Like I just love it all. So I want to do a lot of these videos to explain why you should use certain products and what you need, what essentials are. But before we get started, funny story. So I was planning on doing this video yesterday and I go out to my car and I'm looking for my kit. I have multiple kits. So a kit is basically like a big bag full of stuff, pretty much all your essentials that you need doing hair and doing makeup. They have makeup kits, they have hair kits, you know, beauty people got kits. So I go out to my car to see to go get my kit so that I can show you all these dope things that I have. And I was mainly gonna focus on my tools. And my car kit, it has all of my flyest stuff because that's, that one is for when I go and do freelance work. So I pull out all of my, you know, my more high end, like on trend things. Just, it's like a bag of tricks basically. Like, yeah, I got this, I got this. This contraption just pops open on its own, you know, stuff like that. Then I also have a kit at my salon. The salon kit is mainly my essentials for salon styling. So it's like my guarantee what's gonna work, you know, just everything I need for the salon. And then I also have two half kits or a full kit that I split in half at CBS, which is where I do Eve's hair and I also do Marie Osmond. So I'm going between two dressing rooms. So I have a separation of things that they need in their own rooms. So my car kit is really for like freelance work. You know, if I'm going to do a home visit, do and go, or trying to shoot my video. Long story short, I go out there, I'm like, my kit is not here. Like, where's my kit? Like, where, where's my stuff? I'm looking all through the house. Like, I'm looking in the closets. I'm looking under the table. I'm looking everywhere. Like, where's my kit? Like, I'm losing my mind. And so, come to find out, I realized that I was missing a gang of stuff because somebody broke into my car and stole it. Right. <laughs> you guys, when I tell you, I was so frustrated yesterday. I was like damn near in tears. And it took for me to go upstairs, take a deep breath, like talk to myself. Y'all know y'all be talking to yourself. I had to talk to myself. I was like, okay, Ange, like just get it together. Like chill. Like it's people going to war right now. It's people battling all kinds of sicknesses. It's people out here, you know, having miscarriages and problems in their marriages and all this kind of stuff. And I, you cannot, allow yourself to cry about things. So I wanted to tell you that story because a lot of times we get caught up in our own stuff and we don't realize that there are much more severe things happening. And yes, I feel violated. I feel stupid because obviously I didn't notice because they must have just popped my locks and my locks were my car was unlocked and so they were just able to like boop go in there take what they needed slide out in the sunset or the you know sunrise whatever time it was and run off with my stuff they also ran off with a whole box of my books my children's books that I was sending for a book fair in Chicago so now I gotta order more books and it's just like too many things so yes am I irritated yes am I gonna flip my lid and like get in this crazy mood and like be mean and rude to people and and pout and you know exert all this energy being mad hell no and i tell you this story because we do get caught up in our own thing and it's important to count your blessings 
Because the reality is, when I got back home and I looked around, I still had several of my great irons that I love. You know, I still, when I got back on set, I realized that I still had some of my other tools that I love and needed. And I was not operating in lack from what they stole. I actually was operating in abundance because I still had everything I needed. And so um, I really used that moment of feeling taken advantage of and, and using it to fuel positivity and being thankful and living in gratitude. And so I just wanted to tell you guys that story because it's important to not focus on the negative when there's so much positive happening. And we can get caught up in the negative because it, it eats at us, it makes us feel, you know, it makes us feel away. And we respond and react to it, but don't give that room when you have all of this greatness over here. So moving on, moral of the story is, I still got stuff to show you, basically. <laughs> okay guys, so the first thing up on my list of what's in my kit is my Babless Pro Mini. It's so cute, right? I love it. So I like this iron because it locks, so it's great for travel, great for packing. Um, it does not have the heat temperature on here, which could be a good or a bad thing. These are titanium plates, so I don't recommend it for my naturals who want to straighten. I think it's too strong, but for weave wearers um, or anybody that only straightens here and there, this is a great iron to have, especially for short hair, um, especially for curls, bomb. So I'm so happy that I just got this. I can't wait to use it. Mm. The next iron on my list is even smaller in size. This one is the H2 Pro um, iron. And I love this iron because it's great for the little edges. You know, a little, you go to the club, you kicking it, you sweat the edges out. This is gonna hit the spots without you going crazy trying to burn your hair out. And this one has the temperature settings, so you don't have to put it up all the way on high, but it has a lot of settings. And it's ceramic plates, which to me are better for the hair. Bomb iron right here. The next one that's um, one of my faves this one is by Numi Style. I love this iron because it's a two in one and I love two for one. Anything buy one, get one free, anything two for one, I'm here for it, okay? Um, and especially because when it locks, it gives you this big, this big round barrel, which you can't do a lot with unless you have long hair. So a bigger barrel, you're limited with anyway. So it's nice that you can open up the plates and you have a waiver. And you know, waves are super in right now. Um, they last really long. If you've ever had waves in your hair, baby, you get about a good week out of it and you ain't gotta do your hair, trust me, okay? So it's nice that you could do both because waves, you're not gonna do that all the time. But when you want to smooth, you can also use the outside and just smooth the top of your hair down. Um, and you have inside for the waves. So love, love, love this iron. New me is the name. I'm gonna tag it below. So now on to product. One of my absolute favorites is the Orbe. It's called Airbrush and Root Touch-Up Spray. Now, if you've never used a root touch-up spray, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's necessary for a lot of things. Let's count. Number one, gray coverage. If you got a gray that just popped up out of nowhere, you spray this baby. If you are a little thin on your edges and you uh, wanna wear a ponytail, you wanna wear some with your edges out, spray this baby it makes it look darker um and thicker if you have a wig that's colored but maybe the the highlights go up too high or there's a blotch in one spot and you can't get it colored over or you don't feel like coloring over whatever you can spray this it'll soften up whatever that color issue is it'll tone the hair depending on what color you get um what else does it do it's it's good for so many things. So I just use it for everybody. You know, they have them in different colors. I pretty much use dark brown or light brown, mostly. I have a red one for my Auburn girls. And then they also have jet black. So get this, it smells freaking amazing. I don't know if you can see that, but it like thickens it up, but it's soft, so it's bomb. Fave, fave product. Mm. The next product that I wanna tell you guys about is my Kenra heat block spray. Now, a lot of people are always like, what's a good thermal spray? What's a good thermal protectant? Love this one. It, ha it holds the hair um, and it has a nice 
like firm hold. I couldn't get the word out. It has a nice firm hold and it smells amazing. It's lightweight. What do you need up? What else do you need? It's bomb. So I love this one, Kenra Heat Block Spray. Very light, mm -hmm. bomb. The next thing I wanna tell you guys about is the Girl and Hair Restore. I keep this in my kit because anytime I'm doing braids, like I'm doing a braid up for a weave or a foundation, um, I need some oil on the hair just to moisturize the scalp. Or if my client has extensions and it seems like she's kind of neglected what's underneath, this is the best for that. It's called under hair care because it's meant for people who wear weaves, protective styles, all that kind of stuff. You put it in, boop, boop, boop. And what I love the most about it is that the oil is not oily. It's not just gonna run down your face, you know? So this one is a must have. It's also good for finishing, especially like short relaxed hair or short hair that's been straightened. You do a little drop in the hand, it gives the hair a nice shine, not too heavy, heavier than most, but not too bad. I love, love, love. Now, if you want something lighter for styling and finishing, I would go with um, my Kevin Murphy. It's called Young Again. This bottle is gonna go a long way because you really only need like one little drop and you would just rub that through the hair and you see it gives it a really nice shine. This one, um, and it smells good. It smells just clean and like rich, you know? But you don't wanna use this on really like silky hair cause it is a little bit heavy. But if you have coarser hair, dry hair, color treated hair, and you need an everyday kind of moisturizer for your style, if it's kind of like flowing, this is gonna be bomb. Now, if we wanna go even lighter, this right here is one of my favorite products of all time. I should have saved it for last because it really is one of the best. This is called Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine. It has gold flakes in it. So when you shake it, you see the gold flakes. And I like to use this on set, especially because sometimes when my clients get dressed and they're like, oh no, I need lotion, I need, I need shine. I just take it, boop, 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 boop. Shine them on up, honey, and it's lightweight, so it's not gonna be oily, it's not gonna fall on the clothes, but it gives a really nice weightless shine. It smells amazing. You can see the little crystal, the little shine flakes, but it doesn't look like glitter. You know, I hate like big ass glitter flakes. Like, give me a little shine, but I don't wanna like see it, see it, you know? Um, so I love it for that. And it's, it's a great finisher to put on the hair if you don't want it to be oily, but you wanna see some more shine. This Shimmer Shine is literally my fave. Mwah, love you. Now for hold, the last product I'm gonna tell you about is the KMS Hair Play. This one is a good product because it's called a dry wax. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of dry wax, but what dry wax does essentially is it has a bit of moisture in it, but it really holds the hair. Whereas dry wax, it has a lot of moisture and holds the hair. I mean, I'm sorry, regular wax has a lot of moisture and it holds the hair, whereas dry wax acts more like a hairspray, but it doesn't make the hair hard but it does hold it. So anytime you want texture, this is gonna be your best friend. Long hair, texture, short hair, texture, or if you just want it nice and like laid, do your style and then spray this. And it still seems weightless, you know? It's not, not like it's falling, like wax chips are falling or anything, but it's really bomb for finishing the hair, keeping it locked, or giving it some edginess, like some movement, whatever you wanna call it, boom. I wanna talk about hairpins. Now, I feel like hairpins get no love, but I'm about to share with you the Mercedes of hairpins, okay? Now, I just did a video about bad hair practices to not bring into 2020, okay? And one of them is about securing the wig. It's been too many occasions, too many viral moments where I've been seeing my homegirls' wigs just all on the floor. Like, girl, you should not be out here like this. And the reason why is because nobody told them to get some hairpins, okay? So YS Park is a dope brand, love their brand. But basically the good thing about these pins is that they have these ridges in them. So when you stick them into the hair, they don't move. All you need is about six pins around your wig, boop, 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 boop. And they're open 
It also doesn't have those balls on it. So you don't want a ball tip hairpin. You want a hairpin that has grooves or is matte, not shiny. And you want it to go in one way and pop in the other way. And it'll literally save your life from the embarrassment of ever having your wig fall off your head. Cool. Those are the products that I want to tell you guys about today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, all of these products are things that I love and I use on a lot of people. So I know sometimes when you're getting your information from YouTube, it's usually from one person talking about how they liked it themselves, but I'm giving it to you from a place where I've used it on a lot of people and it works. So I hope you guys check out the products. They're all listed below. Make sure you tune in and follow my channel, subscribe, ring that bell, you know, all that good stuff. I'm Angela C. Styles. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, here. I'll be back with another video and I'll see you soon. Bye.